You might not believe it, but there's people that live in the United States that came from the 17th century. They're called Amish, and they're a traditional Christian group. The Amish started in 1693 by Jacob Amon. They mostly live in Canada and the US. They are originally Swiss German that immigrated to the US. Right now, most of them live in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Indiana. Since we got to know them, why are we making this video? Because these people are the only group that don't believe in technology and they believe it's a sin. It's not complicated technology either. They don't believe in electricity or lamps and they say we don't want to live with these stuff. The way they live is just like the 17th century. They wake up, eat something and then they start their work without looking at themselves because they don't believe in mirrors either. They dress just like the 17th century. Women kind of covered their hair. If they have a black cap, it means they are single. If it's white, they are married. Men can shave their beard when they're single, but when they get married, they're not allowed to shave it either. Women have to give birth right away because they need the population. To do work, only Amish people are allowed to work in their land. And the kids don't go to the regular school. They have their own school, Amish school. Either way, when you wake up, you either have to go plow the land, pick some fruit, milk the cows, and take care of the different animals on your land. When an Amish gets married, him and his wife and the older kids work on their land. Anything they sell, they only accept cash. There's no banks, checks, or credit cards. Some Amish accepted some technology and they use natural gas. They use the gas to cook food and they also use it for their propane powered fridges. Because electricity is not allowed, but gas is. Anything the Amish eat is produced by them. If it's bread, it came from an Amish. If it's chicken, it's from an Amish. And every other type of meat as well. Their drinks are water or milk because they only have these two and they don't want to drink tea, coffee, or sodas. The Amish schools go up to the eighth grade and that means in the eighth grade, you graduate forever. The second language they teach to Amish kids is German because they never want to forget where they came from. They say kids should learn to read, learn some math, and learn Amish history. If they don't learn the first three, it's not a problem. But they have to learn the history of the Amish. And they have to know who the Amish were. And that's why you rarely see an Amish kid leave their family to live normal lives. The Amish are not only farmers, and they do other work. They create handmade furniture and the people around them come and buy it. But you have to pay cash. Some companies order some huge project from the Amish and they have a website that sells handmade Amish furniture. Like this company put this handmade cabinet for $54,000. And who knows how much he paid to the Amish that made it actually. But how do they get around? They don't believe in cars. How do they take the kid to school? With a very highly advanced vehicle called the chariot. When you get by the school of the Amish, you see a bunch of chariots that are either dropping off the kids or taking them home. 
But let's see their house. How do they look like? An old school looking house that is completely hand made. And the interior is either built by them or other Amish people built it. There's no decorations, mirrors, or picture because cameras are not allowed either. Another cool thing they do is that they communicate with other Amish to what to grow. Like if one of them plants potatoes, the people next to them don't plant that and do something else or they're different. And whenever it's harvest season, they trade with the other Amish. In this case, they have all types of goods. If you've seen our video about when the internet shuts off, you'll know what happened to the world. But it's not gonna affect the Amish. And this is one of those groups that internet and electricity have nothing to do with. Just like we said, when men don't have nothing to do, they make furniture. And whenever women get bored, they weave baskets. Some high quality handmade baskets that are expensive. Like for example, this handmade basket is $150. You could say an Amish woman has a harder life than an Amish man because they have to wake up two hours before everybody and make breakfast for the whole family. And they have to work the entire day from plowing to harvesting to planting, milking cows, and they're completely busy the entire day. Whenever they go home at night, they have to cook the entire family dinner and then sleeps after everybody. Another interesting fact about Amish is that the doll they create for their kid is not allowed to have a face. Because in their religion they believe a doll should not have a face. You guys know they don't have electricity and whenever the sun sets, it's pretty much time to sleep. They have candles and kerosene lights, but they don't want to stay awake. If they really want to stay late, they sleep after 8. But the mother is not allowed to sleep. She has to go and wash the clothes. And that's with hand because they don't have washing machines. Either way, the wife sleeps last and has to wake up before everybody so she can cook breakfast. What do you guys think about the Amish? They live like this and that's in US and Canada and around them there is everything. A few miles on the other side there's a Walmart which has everything. There's electricity and internet everywhere they live and the gas station is next to them too. But the Amish don't pay attention to that. They don't shop from Walmart and they don't buy cars to put gas in it. Those are all a sin and it's anti-religion. The Amish can't watch this because they don't have electricity or a computer. Whatever we say about them, no Amish can complain. What do you guys think about this lifestyle? Are they living easier lives or us? Please comment.